this video, we're going to show you how you can create slicers that control multiple pivot tables. So let's look at this simple data set. We've got women selling makeup. We've got the dates, the units, and dollars. So let's create two pivot tables and then have a slicer control both of them. Okay, so basically we'll go inside the data, insert a pivot table. Very simple. Come over here. We'll have what every woman sold of makeup. So we're going to have let's say product and name and we have dollars okay there we go there's one pivot table now to create a, a one pivot another pivot table from the first pivot table you can be anywhere and do alt DP okay another pivot table report and if you click next I did alt DP there I can create a pivot table and see the field list again I mean it's not a big deal Okay, so we'll put the pivot table in, let's say, R23. Okay, and let's go, we could simply have, let's say, every name, and maybe we'll do units. And we'll just put that there. Okay, now what we can do, we could have a slicer that controls the names in both the pivot tables at the same time. So I can create one slicer here. We know how to do that. There's a slicer. Let's do name. Okay, now if you look at that slicer, it's fine. Uh, let's do multiple columns. Okay. So if I do, let's say, let's say four columns. Why not? Okay, so I got to make it wider. Okay. And so that looks a little nicer. Okay, so now if I filter on Ashley through CC, okay, see that happened up here, but it didn't control, it, it controlled the uh, pivot table up here because that was the pivot table I used to create it, but I wanted to also control this pivot table. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to slice for each one. It's up to you. You have control. So I go under slicer tools here, click in here, slicer tools. Okay, now the key is report connections on the left there. So now I can make it control both the tables. Okay, see now when I just do let's say Emily and Halligan, it's in both pivot tables. Okay, that slicer is controlling both pivot tables which can be very very useful I believe. Okay, so thanks for watching and, and there's a free course, a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first this one which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five, I don't think it's five, yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.